Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be looking at the Kraken. It's a Para Series mechanical mod by Silvercraft Creations. It's a quad 21700 fully mechanical mod. Fits up to a 30 millimeter atomizer, hybrid connection with a top switch, CNC machine made, hand finish, and of course, it's made in the Philippines. It is time for the mortals to pay. My child waits to do your will. Release the Kraken! Before we get into the crack in the RDA that I'll be using today, it's a 30 millimeter atomizer. It is the Danny V3 also made by Silvercraft Creations. I've never done a review video on this particular atomizer, but there's a couple of videos already out on it. The only thing that I wanted to really add, I could still purchase this in the United States. Some of the colors that it comes in is the one that I have currently, the Altum. You also have it in T6, but it's painted over in black. And then you also have the murdered out one. You can see Danny's written right on it right there, but it is completely murdered out. All the drip tips are 810. And you could also still get it in poly as well. The build that I believe is the best in the Danny V3 RDA is a series build and on top of a series mechanical mod. It's a very spacious deck, but when you put a series build in it, look at how much space you're taking up. And also the way that I put my coils, I cut my leads at around five to 4.5 and I stick them as close as possible together in the middle. That's how I like to build my Danny V3 RDA and I think this is the best bang for your buck the best flavor you'll get out of it i've seen some videos where people are like not really getting much flavor from this and i'm also talking about the 28 millimeter and the reason why you're not getting a lot of flavor out of it is you have a very spacious deck and you're putting tiny coils in there i mean it makes no sense at all i honestly do believe that this is a very flavorful rda uh, not only are you going to get a lot of clouds but i think it does give you good flavor as long as you build it correctly with that being said release the kraken this week I got uh, quite a treat for you guys. I thought I'd go ahead and do a video on a Paris series mechanical mod that's been out for quite a while, but it's also been sold out for quite a while. I personally have not seen any videos on it as of yet. I'm pretty sure there's, there's a couple of people that own this mod when it came out. It's the same guys who brought you guys the Chaos 21700 mech mod, as well as the Nyax. 21700 mech borrow mod and many other amazing products kraken comes in a box like this like many of their other products which is a sleeve on top there's sc written on it the silvercraft creations logo underneath the sleeve you get the kraken logo as soon as you open it up you get a foam as soon as you take that foam out and here you have the Kraken. This particular one is made out of brass as well as Delrin right here. And right where your atomizer goes on top, you have the words Silvercraft Creations, Philippines, Kraken. The 510 pin is fully adjustable with a flathead. You have your Altum fire button right next to where your atomizer is on the top. This whole side piece is made out of black Delrin. The engraving is done by CNC machine. It's very, very interesting. It. On one side you have your serial number, on the other side you have Kraken written on it. Towards the bottom you have the letters SC engraved onto it, and this is the bottom of the mod right here. It's very difficult to actually fit the whole thing on the camera without you know being able to get as close as possible so you guys can see the detail. The engraving on it is just beautiful. This is probably one of my favorite mods that I own. And the fact that, you know, not only can you run this in para series, but you could also run it in parallel as well. Zoom out a little bit, you kind of get an idea of how big the mod is. This whole chunk of brass makes it very, very heavy. I got very big hands and 
you know, you could get an idea of how big this mod is. I'd have to kind of hold it towards the top just to be able to hit the fire button. The Danny V3 RDA is a 30 millimeter RDA and hands down probably one of my favorite RDAs to put on top of the Kraken. So you get an idea of how it looks with the Danny V3 on top. There's no overhang. The most you could put on here is a 30 millimeter but even a 25 millimeter will look great on here. Also in the box at the bottom, you get, of course, your COA, certificate of authenticity, Silvercraft, and then you get the Kraken logo right along inside the COA. And that's pretty much it. That's all that this comes with. So the way that it comes is a para series. In order to break it down into a parallel mod, all you need to do is take off these two screws right here. And all you need to do that is a flathead. I'm trying to get it inside the frame so you guys could see it. And by the way, these screws are very, very long. It does take quite some time to take it off. But as soon as you get it far enough, it comes right off. And so as soon as you uh, break it in half, your two spacers come out and this is what you need in order to run it in para series they're made out of delrin with a copper middle like most spacers are and the top part is all you need in order to run this in parallel so in order to do that you take the bottom half all you need is your battery caps and the way that i like to take the battery caps off is by using a flathead, it makes it so much easier. So this part, you could go ahead and just put it to the side. You don't need it in order to run it in parallel. And all you would need is these battery caps to go right over here and they thread on right there. And so for this particular video, I'm gonna be running running this in para series, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how this looks in uh, parallel. In order for you to service the brass, you could take the Delrin piece off and all you need to do to take that off is unscrew two screws using a flathead. This Delrin piece, as soon as you unscrew those two flatheads, it pops right off. I guess you could also just run it like this if you wanted. And as you can see where the Delrin was covering up, there is no engraving on that part. And the way that the Delrin was screwing onto the brass was through a screw right over here, as well as another screw right over here. And there you have your button still, and you could still break this down even further. There's really, there's really no need for me to do it, but I um, wanted to go ahead and actually show you guys the contacts are made out of copper, and it's so much easier just to use a flathead to take these battery caps off. If you look deep into there, you could see your battery contacts are made out of copper. And you could remove it by unscrewing this, this top part off. I'm, I'm not going to do it in this particular video. I just don't think there's a need for me to do it. Just to show you guys that you can break it fully down in order to service it. It is possible. Same thing with the second half. You just need to unscrew this part as well as that part. And then the Delrin sleeve pretty much comes off. And what you'll have is the brass left over if you wanted to go ahead and polish that. So the screw that holds the bottom half of the mod to the top parallel part is this and it's a it's a very long screw so in order to put this back on all you need to do is just slide it on and it just snaps on like that I'm not gonna be able to run it in parallel as you can see it looks pretty good in, in parallel as well but I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together so I could run it as a para series before I uh, do that let me go ahead and put my screws back in when it comes to the smaller screw it goes here towards the bottom and then when you when it comes to your longer screw goes here towards the button as soon as you get your delrin back on you go ahead and take your bottom half the way that i like to do it make sure the delrin is facing the delrin it's harder to do it on camera than it really is i mean this mod is so big i could barely even fit it on the screen and so it comes in quite a lot of different variants when it comes to the sleeves um, there's white delrin black delrin altum and then when it comes the material that the whole mech mod is made from comes in brass copper as well as t6 i believe the only way you could really get this is in the used marketplace if you ever do get a chance getting one I definitely recommend you try to get it. It's definitely a one of a kind mech mod. Now it's back together completely. And again, you do need quad 21700 batteries for these. The way that you want to run it is positive side down, positive side down. Then you want to take your uh, spacers. Now for your second set of batteries, positive side down as well as positive side down. Take your battery 
caps so i'll be using some vinyl vapors today i wanted to go ahead and do a correction from the other video when i was showing this e-juice from australia i said luscious the correct way to say it is licious wanted to go ahead and shout out birdman for correcting me the correct way again to pronounce it is licious not luscious today i'll be using some vinyl vapor also available where i can't tell you where it is but if you've been paying attention you probably know exactly where ladies and gentlemen the kraken and this thing is so big i can't even fit it on the screen Ooh. Again, this is the Kraken Para Series Mechanical Mod by Silvercraft Creations. You cannot find this new. If you do find it in the used marketplace, my advice is to grab you one. It's definitely a treat. Hits very hard, very stylish, it's very, very heavy. So if you're into heavy mechanical mods, this is one that you should definitely get. The Danny V3 RDA though is available. My advice is for you to get it, especially if you like to run your series mechanical mod. This is a great series RDA. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.